Hello and welcome to Two Minute Tutorials with Adrian Nix. Today we're going to create a very simple shape morph in After Effects. After Effects looks like a complicated program, but it's not as bad as it looks. So here I've created a new composition and I'm going to start by creating a shape. You can change the color of the shape and the stroke of the shape at the top of the, the queue here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw a circle. I'm going to do a simple circle to square shape morph. So while I'm in the shape here and I have the shape selected, I'm going to grab my anchor point tool and make sure that that shape's anchor point is in the center of the document here. It, does, it, it will matter if you end up moving the shape in terms of the path. Hello, Nick's here with two minutes on shape morphs in After Effects. I'm in a new composition here in After Effects. I'm going to go ahead and take my shape tool to draw a circle. Um, it doesn't matter if it's necessarily in the center of the document. You'll see the shape morph happen either way. If I go and highlight the layer, I could then grab the anchor point and move it so that's central so that it kind of morphs into itself instead of moving into another area later when I play with the path. While I'm at it too, I'm going to go ahead and name this layer. Um, I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to do Control click to get rename, and I'm going to go ahead and name it Circle. All right, I'm going to create a second shape layer, so new shape layer here. And this one is going to be a square or whatever shape you want to make it, right? Let's go ahead, let's make it a square. Right, I'm going to kind of get it central right there. Um, again, I'm going to go highlight it and make sure that that anchor point is right in the center or as close as it could be. There is alignment. There's an alignment panel you can use. I'm just trying to make this as easy as possible. Um, I'm going to go ahead and control click and then name this layer so that I know which one is which. This is my rectangle. Okay, for this next part, uh, it's a little, it's not so complicated, but it's real simple if you follow along here, right? So I'm going to go into the rectangle, I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to go to the rectangle path, and I'm going to right-click with my mouse or control-click on the Mac and choose Convert to Bezier Path. This is where I'm going to be keyframing. So there's my spot for the rectangle. Let's go down to the circle. Let's open up the ellipse. Let's go to the path, right-click or control-click convert to Bezier path and go ahead and open that up. Now at the beginning of our timeline, let's make sure that our scrubbers at the beginning of the timeline, I'm setting a key lane, key frame for the circle and I'm setting a key frame for the rectangle. There we go. And then I'm going to move myself forward in time. Mine is only like a second here. And I'm going to take, this is the, the, the fun part, right? I'm going to take this key frame that I used for the circle right? Let's go back. Oops, I missed it. Keyframe I use for the circle, Command C to copy. Move myself ahead a second in the, the timeline there. Now let's go to the rectangles path and I'm going to do Command V to paste. All right, let's go ahead and play that back and you will see our morph change from a circle to a square. I can now go back and delete that circle. That circle is unnecessary. Um, if I can go ahead and play this, here we go, and square to circle. Now if I wanted to go back to the square, because that would be kind of cool, I'm going to take this keyframe right here, the one that set it at the beginning, Command C to copy, move myself to the end of the queue, Command V to paste, and then I'm going to go ahead and select all of them, right click with the mouse, and choose my easy ease to give it a nice soft transition. So let's see what we got. And there you have it, a very simple shape morph. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to see more cool things about what you can do with the Adobe programs.